Hey, it's your favorite local realtor, Aaron Millam with Premier Property Group. And today we're gonna go over step-by-step -step how I did my uh, recent real estate flip. So that being said, let's get into it. Obviously I learned some things doing this and so let's go over those now. So the first one, if you're a beginning investor is you have to be able to look for opportunities. Typically, if you're looking on the market of homes that are on the market, it's not gonna be a great opportunity unless you can get some kind of owner financing. But when the property is represented by a real estate agent, your down payment's gonna have to be a higher amount to cover those fees. So make sure you're networking, talking to people, letting them know that you're wanting to invest so they can think of you and bring potential um, opportunities to you. And if you need help kind of figuring out if the opportunity is a good one or not, feel free to reach out. Like I said, I have all the theoretical knowledge. I have worksheets I can help you kind of go through the deals and see if they're good. And now I've got practical knowledge for you as well. The other thing is when you're looking at properties, the main deal that's, that's presented to you, the opportunity that's presented to you, it may not be a good one at first. For example, if I were to buy the home outright that I had purchased and then did the repairs, I would have not done the deal because then I, it's just too much money going in for a product that's not going to sell for the amount to make it worth my time and, and risk. So especially in this market with high interest rates and high prices, you have to get creative with how you formulate your deals. So you find something you like, then don't just give up because it's not exactly what you're looking for. Find a way to make it work. Ask not, can I make this work, but how can I make this work? So the other thing is if you don't have a team helping you, if you don't have contacts and a network of people like contractors, floors, plumbers, electricians, it's gonna make this a lot more difficult. My plumber actually moved away so I don't I don't have a plumber I called one two three four I believe the, the plumbers that did this this was my fifth plumber because the first one never I could never get a hold of I've had them do work in the past but apparently they're not returning calls anymore then they called another company who referred me to another company who referred me to two other companies who referred me to this final they did a great job everything looks great but if you don't have that you're gonna be making a lot of phone calls and doing things that you want to do. Now, the good news is I had a flooring contractor close by, so they were able to help give advice on what would look good. And then I also have a contractor who I trust and work with, and he also does amazing flips as well. So he was help, able to help advise me on do some of these things, don't do these things. Again, the ceiling appears to be cosmetic, so why are you gonna be spending a ton of money on fixing a cosmetic item would use that money to fix things that actually need to be fixed. So definitely have a team ready to go. So now with that said, there's a couple of people I want to shout out. Number one, I used Exodus Engineering. They did a great job. Um, they were upfront with their prices and they actually did me a favor by coming out. I'm not supposed to say this, but they came out on a weekend and also they came out quickly when I needed I was having a repair being done and I needed them to do this repair before that. And they were able to change their schedule and come out and do that. So that's great. Um, the other company I used for flooring, Top Notch Flooring. They are top notch, let me tell you. Uh, I would recommend them. And then my contractor that I've been talking about, affordable building and maintenance. And uh, they do an amazing job. That's one of the reasons why I love working with them is he doesn't cut corners goes above and beyond and makes the home amazing. Uh, let's see, I probably forgot someone. Um, oh, the heating company. Hang on. Perfect Temp in Rochester. They did a good job. They checked it out quickly and they actually had to work around the propane company because the furnace is propane. They had to work around that and there was no complaints. Great attitude. Um, told me everything I needed to know. I had some questions and they spent time with me to make sure I got all my questions answered. So all that was great. I'm very thankful for those uh, people. And the final piece that you need to know from this video is that I am a real estate agent. <laughs> 
I can help you. I can walk you through the investments. Like I said, I have all the theoretical knowledge. I have worksheets that can help you. I have market knowledge. I can help you um, go over things, what repairs to do, what repairs not to do, what's important, what you must have in a home in order to procure financing. Also, I have a network of reliable contractors, and like I said, electricians and whatnot. Um, that can help you get the job done sooner, especially if you're trying to do this on your own. Just having some kind of guidance, someone there who's been there, done that, it's going to make all the difference in the world for you.